Hi, you're watching Patadendron. In today's video, we're going to Verdant Vivariums. Twice. <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick and I'm a houseplant collector with an ever-growing collection of plants. And I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how I grow my collection and keep my plants happy, then you should definitely hit subscribe. <laughs> In today's video, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to check out Verdant Vivariums. So Verdant Vivariums, well, okay, I checked out their open house once already, but I haven't been to like their regular business hours and they're open from Wednesday to Thursday. I believe it's 11 to 5. And we're gonna go see what they have regularly. But then in a couple days, Verdant Vivariums is gonna hold another open house where they sell their Hoyas and they have a ton of really cool Hoyas. They have this greenhouse somewhere in this magical part of Orange County. <laughs> um, and they, take these rare Hoyas from there to their shop to sell them at their open houses. So I can't wait to see what they have both times. Let's just, um, let's just go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is the Peperomia Emarginella. And this is so cool. Look at it in the little cup. This is such a cool way to propagate or grow like little terrarium plants. These are so cool and I don't really see these anywhere. These are $12. Okay, I don't even know what a microgramma is, but these are so cool. They have these hairy rhizomes and these fronds that look like the crocodile fern growing out of it. Very cool. Those little hairs always get me. <laughs> These are $34. Okay, so it's a fern. <laughs> These down here look a little more established. But these would be so cool. Too bad they weren't open when I needed to make my terrarium for my video. <laughs> my collab with Grania. Shout out to Grania. I had so much fun again. And um, I hope we do it again soon. Oh, look how cute that is. I love the way that the little, what is that even, moss growing in there. That's so cute. But I finally am getting it because <laughs> I can read. These are the ferns, and down here are the ground cover plants for your terrarium. But back to the ferns, I'm also whispering because it's so quiet in here. These uh, Peperomia Panamas are really cute. I think this would be a really cute ground cover. These are $10. They can remind, remind me of the Prostrata, but not as puffy, not as turtly. And check out 
the jewel orchids. They're so pretty. They have so many too. <laughs> Can't see through the the condensation, but. See, that one looks really cool. Look at this. This is all made here. And this terrarium belongs to Anne. Mm -hmm. is that <laughs> and it was made by Jimmy, who is really helpful. They both are. <laughs> I was told that that little like corally front thingy in the back is also a begonia. Isn't that cool? Look at these begonias. Oh. Holy moly, right? Okay, this one like literally stopped me in my tracks. But I need to chill. <laughs> These are called the Begonia Frida. <gasps> Look at that little baby leaf coming in. So cute. These are $40. Even better without the lid. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, this one's so interesting looking. And that one's actually really beautiful too. Well, like the ones that have. And they also have the Begonia Chlorosticta, which is on my wish list, but I got distracted. I found some other cool ones. Check these out. The begonia burgundy. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, it's the day of the open house, and I'm walking in right now. <laughs> Check out all these Hoyas. Look at that one. I love that color. That is called the Hoya Waimanie Wy small form. Wow, what is the large form? <laughs> um, let's see. Helwigiana. See, a lot of these I've never even heard of. Look at this, Hoya Macrophylla Variegata. So pretty. The leaves on that are smaller than the other ones I've seen. The same. So this one is $75. Um, Hoya Memoria. Oh, only 35. <laughs> That's cool. Ben Vergar, Ben Vergari. There's actually another tray. So there's more. There is the Hoya Rotendifolia. Um, look at this. Okay, the Hoya Cressi Petiolata. It's teeny tiny. Mm. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> 
and oh, what's this one? The Hoya species had some pun. I'm not even gonna try to say that. That's from Thailand. Um, this one's really cool too. Hoya erythrina for 70. And I love plant species with no names. <laughs> if it begins with a U. Cool. <laughs> and Hoya Sunrise. That is really cute. I love that so I'm stressed. Look, oh, what's this one? This one's super cute too. Oh, the Hoya Parasitica. That one's 70. This sunrise is really cute. 45. Oh, the Hoya Rangsan. Very cool. Rangsonii? Or no. Rang no, I think it is the Rangsan. Those are 70. These are the Hoya Embricadas. They're so cute when they shingle. And I love them mounted on these boards. Let's see how much these are. So these are $100 each. Careful. Let's check out some more begonias. I love begonias, you guys know. This is the Begonia Rubida. Those are really cool. I don't know what that's called exactly, but beautiful. Ooh, look at this. I don't know if you can actually see, but this is the Begonia Luzonensis. And if I am correct, it's named after the island of Luzon, which is. Gosh, it's so. There's a better picture. The Begonia Luzonensis. It is the one of like the biggest islands in the Philippines, if not the biggest. It's where Manila is. Hey. <laughs> okay, I actually forgot to show you guys the house plants when I was here the other day. So let's check it out. It's not all crazy rare stuff here. <laughs> They also have some, oh, some common babies. Look at this Fetonia. The leaves are so huge on that. And these are $10. They also have some Drosera or Sundews. These are $10 as well. They also have some Nepenthes and begonias. Um, and, oh yeah, this is a Medin Medinilla, Medinia, Apoensis. Right there. These are, I'm not sure. But I feel like everything on this table might be $10 cute dog right there <laughs> and I think that's another Medinia Medinilla Medinia Grigori Hambali Hambali hmm cute and here are some Macrogravia mini melon these are more of the terrarium plants and they have this, I think all the time. And they're open from um, every Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to five, I believe. Yeah. 
Look at this begonia. The begonia erectocarpa. Very rare, iridescent blue with pink hairs, $100. <gasps> Look at that leaf. It's so pink. Look at this. It is so dainty. This is the begonia lyallii. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is not for sale, of course. They're so cute. <sighs> I already show you guys the Hoya Finlay Sonii. That is 55. And the Hoya Ignorata. Back there. Actually, I'm gonna put my tray down. So there's the Hoya Ignorata. Look, these leaves are, are so cute. They're like little paper Hoya leaves. And that is $90. Let's look at some more begonias. Those are cute. I like this one, Begonia handelii. The leaves have this super cool kind of like, just super thick quality to them, it looks like. <laughs> I didn't actually touch the leaf, but it has these red veins that are really pretty. Check out that huge one in the back, the Begonia luziensis. Ooh, look, there's a Julau that we can't see through the condensation. <laughs> I know I need to calm down. Hoya is just making me nervous now, ever since I killed my macrophylla. Look at those beautiful jewel orchids, the Gudiera species back there. Wow. Okay, well, here it is outside, or like, not through a dewy <laughs> dome. Here they are. This is the Begonia Chlorosticta, and this is what they look like outside, or like not through all that condensation, but wow. And here it is in the red form, the Begonia Chlorosticta red form. Isn't that amazing? Look at these. This is the Begonia glandulosa. Amazing. And they have these really cool kind of unidentified vines from Borneo. And these are $20 each. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really thinking about this. I'm... Like I said, I've been burned by my Hoya macrophylla variegata. <laughs> and I don't know, should I try another Hoya? This is the Hoya Sunrise. It's $40 and I love, sorry, $45. And I love how sun stressed and red it is. So, should I do it? Comment down below. <laughs> are, are you team Begonia Chlorosticta? Should I get a Sunrise or a Chlorosticta? I'm gonna pick one and hope that all your guys' votes align with mine, <laughs> with my final decision. So what'd you guys think? I don't know what to think, but I mean, all good things, obviously, but my mind was blown yet again. They had so many cool plants the first time and especially the second time. Um, that was really cool to see all those rare Hoyas, some Hoyas I've never even heard of. I saw some <laughs> veiny Hoyas, some fuzzy Hoyas, some big leafed Hoyas, some tiny ones, 
some expensive ones, and some even more expensive ones. <laughs> that was awesome. And I'm inspired. I'm fully inspired. So if you guys haven't seen my video, I made a collab with Jungle Flowers Canada recently where we made terrariums. And I want to make more terrariums. <laughs> So, enough of me blabbering, let me show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I got on Thursday, or one of the things that I got on Thursday, is this beautiful, oh, this gorgeous Begonia Berkeleyi Burgundy. And just check out these uh, luscious leaves. And these have that blue iridescence to them when you take a flash photo. I'm so in love with this begonia. I'm really loving like all the begonia species. And This was $45, I wanna say. And this is the Begonia Luzauensis. Yes, Lu, oh, Luzaiensis. Luzaiensis. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? And I was told by Jimmy, who works there, by the way, if you're local and are curious about terrariums, go to Verdant Vivariums. It is a really cool shop and everyone there is so nice. Jimmy is super helpful too. He knows a lot about plants and terrariums and he will point you in the right direction. He helped me a lot with begonias too. He also is a begonia He's a part of the Begonia Brigade. <laughs> He's also a Begonia fanatic, like me. And he was able to like really show me all the cool ones. And there were even some more cool ones today. But I needed to um, calm down, okay? <laughs> but I got this one too. This one was $35. And then I also got the Peperomia Panama as a ground cover. Let me open it up so you can get a good look. But aren't these cute? They remind me of the Peperomia Prostrata, but these are not little turtles. The leaves are flat. They don't puff up, but still really cool. So, I can't wait for that take take off. And I also got this jewel orchid. Isn't this so pretty? Those lightning bolts on the leaves are so just like eye-catching, intricate, stunning. <laughs> Pun intended. And this is the, this is the Anectochylus formosanus, also known as the turtle back, turtle back jewel orchid, I want to say. Pretty. And then today, this is what I got. I hope you guys voted for the Hoya Sunrise. <laughs> and if not, you know what? I'm gonna have to go back and get that Chlorosticta. <laughs> hope they have it. And as you can see, I paid $45. I thought this was really pretty and beautifully sun-stressed. And I also got the Microgramma, what's it called? Microgramma 
Lycopioides, Lycopodioides, Lycopodioides. Ooh, I like that. And I just had to go back and get this because it has everything that I love about ferns. I love the crocodile fern, and I love the rabbit's foot fern. What do you do when you combine the two? You get a microgramma Lycopodioides. Hey. And this was $24, I want to say. But again, Jimmy was so helpful. I asked him if it was easy, and he said, yeah. So I also got a home for the microgramma lycopodioides. <laughs> he said to just like put it on there, have it grow on that cork board, and it's just going to take off. So, with all these beautiful terrarium plants, you must be wondering, where are you gonna put this? Well, I just had to get this terrarium because I thought it was such a good deal. 45 bucks, I was ready to spend $80 on something similar to this at PetSmart. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, uh, yes please. And I also got that cork, um, cork wood for it. And the cork, the wood was only $9. They were $8 a pound. And I also got a begonia bubble set. I am so excited. I'm gonna need one of these because I love begonias. Also got a begonia bubble. The set was only six dollars. I need to go to Rite Aid and get uh, some a pack of butterfly clips <laughs> to clip it close. That's how they did it at the shop. So that is it. That is all that I got today and Thursday. And um, I had a lot of fun. I thought it was really cool to be able to go to the store twice and see it in a different way the second time, you know, like they they worked so hard between Thursday and Saturday that, you know, the whole shop looked so different and they even had that begonia and Hoya room, which was so amazing. And also seeing all those terrarium plants on Thursday was just super inspiring um you know that feeling that you get when you see new plants and that fascination feeling that you feel deep down inside yeah that one i got that <laughs> and i'm inspired i'm so inspired i can't wait to make something out of this terrarium that i got i can just envision it i hope that it looks the way that i envision it right now putting that out there <laughs> But I had fun and I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support my channel and see more of my plant videos, see some of my plants grow and hang out with me some more, which I hope you do. <laughs> please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video, I just don't want to miss you too much, so if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye!